Now to matters politics, a section of GUSI leaders allied to Deputy President William Ruto have claimed they were not instructed on voting pattern to adopt on the Building Bridges Initiative-led Constitutional Amendment Bill. Led by Kisi Deputy Governor Just Josh Mangi, they claimed their voting preference was based on consultation among Gusi region lawmakers. According to the leaders, those who voted either way did not go against the stand of their political affiliations but were guided by the benefits in store for the electorate from the bill. KC Deputy Governor Josh Mangi termed the BBI bill double-edged, expressing hope that the Senate's intervention will save Kenyans with the necessary amendments, especially on the contentious issues of the proposed 70 additional constituency. They they claimed Kisi County needed new constituencies for Bobasi, South Mugirango, and Kisi Town. Bobasi, South Mugirango. Never had a common agreement with our leader, Yakwamba, where we vote no, Kule Bungeni, where we vote yes. There was no directive from the deputy president to vote no for the BBI and to vote yes. There wasn't. That lies with the Senate. I hope they introduce an amendment so that we can accommodate these other constituencies, these other counties that surely deserve them to be given. Two directors of EcoBeast Travel and Safaris Limited have been released on a 700,000 shillings bond after they denied obtaining 14 million shillings by false pretense. They are said to have defrauded TP Mazembe football team of the money after claiming they were in a position to charter them to a plain fact they knew was a false. Abdikani Ibrahim Ali, Najma Chandri, and EcoBeast Travel Safaris Limited appearing before Chief Magistrate Francis Andai are accused of committing the offense on March 30th, 2021 in Nairobi where with the intent to defraud, ob defraud obtained from TP Mazembe football team in the Democratic Republic of Congo 132,440 US dollars forcibly. The plane was to ferry TP Mazembe players from Lumbuashi to Algiers on 31st of March 2021. They also faced a second count where they were charged with conspiracy to defraud contrary to Section 317 of the Penal Code. The matter will be mentioned on May 24, 2021.